Every year, up to 10 million hectares of land become unsuitable for agricultural production due to severe land degradation. This is more than twice the size of the Netherlands. At the same time, over 800 million people around the globe do not have access to sufficient food. Both problems are closely connected to agriculture. So wouldn't it be great if we could train our farmers to use their land wisely? Land degradation and food shortage are both particularly prevalent in Sub-Saharan Africa, where almost a quarter of the population is undernourished. In rural areas, land degradation and hunger are closely linked. Many small-scale farmers face a vicious circle that leads from low crop yields, which makes them expand the agricultural area, often through deforestation, to land degradation and consequently reduce soil fertility and productivity. Yet, there is hope. Integrated Soil Fertility Management, or ISFM in short, is a promising concept to increase both yields and rehabilitate poor soils by using a range of agricultural practices simultaneously. It consists of a particular combination of organic inputs, such as manure or compost, and other inputs, like fertilizer or improved seeds, that should be applied jointly. However, it is difficult to convince farmers of using ISFM since it involves additional time, labor and money and their knowledge about it is low. Yes, but it is crucial to study how information on ISFM can reach farmers most effectively. In my research, we test two learning approaches in an experimental way in rural Ethiopia, together with the German Development Cooperation Agency. Firstly, we implement a role model farmer approach in some of the communities where only a small number of selected farmers is trained directly and should then train other farmers in agricultural learning groups. From there, the knowledge should trickle down to all other households in the community. Secondly, we show farmers a learning video on ISFM in addition to the role model farmer approach in some of the communities. We find that both the model farmer as well as the combined approach increase the uptake of ISFM technologies. Yet, overall, it seems that the model farmer approach is most effective for well-integrated farmers that work closely together with the model farmer in learning groups. But video can be a powerful, easy to implement and low-cost tool to complement the model farmer method. Video especially shows the potential to convince less integrated farmers outside of learning groups to farm more sustainably in order to improve both their yields and the environmental situation. <laughs>